Real life, real stories. Let's see what's trending in Indianapolis. This is Paul Poteet on The Edge. There he is. There he is. Here I am. Oh. It's, it's, it's Mr. Bean, look. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what, don't know what we're saying, you need to check out yeah. last week's show. But that's it not Mr. Bean. It's and, actually Paul Poteet here. Yeah, when it pre-beard and mustache. I haven't gotten it since then here in the last almost three years now that I went through uh, this uh, midlife crisis. I mean, this uh, image change <laughs> um, uh, that I've gotten the Mr. Bean comparison. Why did we, what, what story did we do that in conjunction with? Uh, oh, that was people, people going to art museums yep. and taking pictures of themselves with these historic figures that look just like them. It and was kind I of said, freaky, actually. Yeah, uh, some of them are really close, yep. unlike the unfair and insidious comparison to me and Mr. Bean, the <laughs> beloved English comedy figure. Totally unfair. No problem, Rowan. Go on. Yeah. So now I'm just looking like, uh, well, people say that I'm uh, kind of like a young Kevin Gregory. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's we a, that's a weatherman friend, joke right there, guys. If we weren't friends, I, would, I had to search and think of them. Okay. Shots fired. Uh, I have to make fun of somebody that I actually am in communication with. That's the rule. <laughs> so <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing today, Paul? Pretty good. I think I'm mostly sunny right now. I found some good stuff. I got... Uh, <laughs> I, I got do you... Do every... do, oh, 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 hold a second. Do you actually uh, uh, reflect on your mood based on weather descriptions? <laughs> you, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause right here. You literally... So, uh, what other definitions do you have there? Do you have like? Uh... Well, well, there are times I'm mostly cloudy. Trust me on that. <laughs> sometimes you know you're variably in a, cloudy. In sometimes a dense you're fog. In... <laughs> yes, yes, sometimes and and just like in uh, the real world, it's usually in the morning. You know that you have that fog. Absolutely. Sometimes you have patchy, dense fog. You'd be po uh, possibly <laughs> passing passing hailstones, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend uh, who, the older you get, the more friends you have with all, with, with with symptoms and things. And uh, yeah, I have a friend who's uh, uh, has a s severe warning out for uh, stones, and <laughs> hailstones. Oh, yeah, that's so what sorry to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> that's painful. Yes, yeah. it is. We'll send a fruit basket. <laughs> You're w <laughs> well. Just don't send like a grape nut basket. Oh, but I'm yeah, bummed. You there don't want to. <laughs> Thank you. I can, I can get it if you want me to. Let me get it within arms. Let me get it closer, just oh, in case. I'll are you be planning for it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to be optimistic and think that I need it a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm mostly sunny today. hope this Wednesday finds everyone who are watching us live, at least, on the live stream, finds uh, find you uh, well also. No, we're happy over, over here at Edge uh, and uh, had some great uh, great guests in. We're about to have another great guest. So uh, we, we, wanted, we wanted to pull. Exactly. Well, it all depends on on you because it could the show could fall, fall completely this apart. could be an all-nighter yeah <laughs> i'm bringing out my best stuff i mean i got dad bods i got ugly uh parents and uh <laughs> a jogger who comes in uh number two every time she races so stand <laughs> All stand right. by, stand by for news, Amer All right. Hello, Americans. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so we wanted to swing around and get some wacky news from from Paul. So take it away, man. Some things uh, that I found on the edge. You know, the problem uh, with having a dad bod, and uh, there's two of us here, obviously, who would uh, you know qualify for a d dad status right now. Do you feel as if you have a dad bod on your own? What the heck is a dad bod? I don't really know. I guess it's supposed to denote uh, that you're maybe a little bit. You, you oh know, wow, it's been, that's what. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see what it is. You don't spend hours at the gym because you're busy with your, you know, family. Right, right, I'll right, sit here right. quietly. Go on, Paul. Oh, what do you my th what bloody do you think Look at that graphic. <laughs> what does she think a dad bod is? That's I have most no important. idea. I have no idea, but well, it's really that's... disturbing what I'm seeing on the screen. <laughs> If 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 your feeling is that a dad bod is like a little you know uh, spare tire, mm -hmm. this guy has come up with a way that you can have the dad bod without the time consuming trouble of of overeating and sitting on the couch because doing nothing takes a lot of time. <laughs> It really does. It it's an investment. <laughs> it's an investment in being horizontal. It's so a if discipline. You, if you're too active or you're just blessed with good metabolism uh, and you just can't achieve the dad bod on your own, take a look at this. Oh, this is Lord. like 
There's a fanny that, pack for that. Oh <laughs> it's my a bloody fanny pack that if you wear just below your t-shirt is all too convincing. I think you'll like I love this picture oh, coming up here of this, the full length of the guy just standing there. <laughs> I like go keep going a little bit more. Oh. There's like a, a six of that. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh, well, that... now not everyone has the same <laughs> dad bot. <laughs> There's look at the lower right one. <laughs> there's the Sherman that you might be looking at right now. The Sherman. You can braid that. <laughs> there, oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh there's just the casual dad bod. You're just sitting around and uh it's you know, just it's there. I think these are just in in, in frightening intoxicating. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, sure. I can't tell if they're real or not. I gotta get in there and you know and just grab one. It's and uh, my left eye tear up. And I don't know <laughs> it's like concealed carry for carbs. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> that's 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 a, that's a good one right there. So you could, for you Christmas, could. Which one would you like me to get you, Paul and Aaron? I will get you one as well. I Why? thank do you, you for that. I mean, sure. by by definition, that means that we do not have that. And you know, that's this is a fantastic compliment. Thank you so do much. Do you want me. the Sherman, Aaron? Do you want the Sherman? <laughs> <laughs> Only if I can braid it with beads. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. You shouldn't be able to buy something like that. You should have to earn that. I mean, exactly. Comes... It does take a long time, oh, okay. relatively speaking, yeah. to be able to earn something like that on your own, right? That, that, this I is a shortcut it, 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 to the dad bod. Did the guy? Uh, did he know somebody named Sherman? I'm. Uh, that's an oddly specific name. I'll for... track him down. I love the magnet. Let me, let me find Sherman for everyone. Three words, Google image search. Okay. <laughs> oh, the <my>. Sherman. <laughs> Sherman dad bod. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, you also notice that by by necessity, those are all innies, not outies, right? Oh, oh I hadn't noticed that. Stop it. <laughs> You're gonna wow. make me dry heaves. <laughs> that, that that is I like the way we're focused on the Sherman. Okay. <laughs> there were other dad bods too. But the Sherman the Sherman uh, <laughs> rose to the occasion. All right, we gotta we got we, we gotta move away we from this. Because I might vomit, so we need to move on. <laughs> yeah, well, well, here's something that's uh, not quite as disgusting at all. It's just a jogger who wants to go to the bathroom <laughs> on people's yards in oh. Colorado Spring. Okay, tell us. Uh, you know, I do, uh, you know, I got kind of got into this running thing <laughs> about nine years ago, but there's apparently a part of the process that I, uh, have never gotten around to, and that's using the bathroom during the run. Now, when I ran the, <laughs> I did run the New York City Marathon, and there were some people along, there weren't, uh, all of the restrooms, the port potties along the way that we have, like, in a lot of the runs around here. Sure. And I did witness some people like going off to the uh, sides of uh, buildings, trying to get off the beaten path a little bit, but not for this. I mean, this woman is full meal deal. I mean, she's <laughs> she's not just tinkling. In uh, future let, me, tense. Let, me let me revert to uh, the match game 75 terminology here, which I think is still uh, safe. She's not just tinkling, as they used to say on oh TV. Oh, my gosh. So it okay. literally is the full meal, just in processed fashion. My eyes still... The woman <laughs> my eye continues been, to tear. She has been dubbed the mad pooper. Well, the jogger won't stop going at the at she and she picks the same house every day. Talk oh about you know uh, you're in a rut. <laughs> Kathy Bud is the mom who says her kids were the first people to catch the jogger in the act. That's a good lesson. Uh, yeah, oh you have to wonder if they were horrified or if they were just laughing. Maybe you know. <laughs> well, I mean, she, she, she had boys. She, she had the runs right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indianapolis, that's I'm sorry. Two. That's not what it means. That's not how this works. When I say I'm going, you know, I love a fun run. That's not how it works. No, no, absolutely not. And if you say that, you know, when she runs, she comes in third place, I'm going to oh. throw you off of the show thank, so fast. Thank you, Paul. I'm the, sorry, Indianapolis. The lieutenant, Howard, Howard Black, who is a lieutenant with the Colorado Springs Police Department, says, quote, this isn't behavior we see on a routine basis. You don't say. 
<laughs> what I don't, you know, there's a line in this. Sometimes it's just the smallest thing, unlike, you know, the premise of the story. Sometimes it's the smallest thing that catches your attention. And in this story, the thing, it's the sentence that says, a sign begging her to stop hasn't helped either. <laughs> the, a sign? There, here's your sign. <laughs> Yeah, the sign, please. <laughs> Joggers don't poop on the side of the road. Please don't. What has here. happened to this country? <laughs> we have to ask for that. <laughs> A sign. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. sign, sign, everywhere, sign. <laughs> if somebody has gotten to that point already, they're going to be deterred. Oh, I forgot. Well, the sign's there, so I'm going to stop now. There's a loophole if they haven't put a sign up. <laughs> well. You didn't say Simon Says. <laughs> oh I mean, my God. come on. So be careful if you're going to Colorado Springs over the... Uh... <laughs> watch for the signs or the lack yeah, watch, thereof. Watch for the signs and for the stuff uh, apparently just below the signs too, okay? That is amazing. Uh, so we've got... Uh, okay, now here's one that's maybe not quite as uh, repulsive but is somewhat ugly. Are you ready for this? If your kids... Don't or if just random kids, not a, let's take your you know kids theoretically out of the equation. If kids in a, as a rule don't seem to like you, mm -hmm. relax. It may just be because you're unattractive. There we are. If kids don't trust you, you might be ugly. <laughs> According to a study in Frontiers in Psychology, children link trust to how attractive they perceive someone to be. Researchers in China, two groups of participants, kids and adults. And by the way, that is, if I saw that picture on top of the story, I'd be, you know, a little leery too, I suppose. Wasn't the that groups, from the Goonies? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the groups were presented with 200 neutral male faces looking directly at the camera, uh -huh. asked to rate them on attractiveness and trustworthiness. Researchers found kids ranked the, quote, hottest faces as the most trustworthy. Just, <laughs> there like, it is. A, just like adults. Ouch. Wow. So this study didn't need to exist. Um, <laughs> Are you saying that we all kind of? Well, I would say, yeah, I'm not surprised with the adults so much, but it is kind of, uh, is it sad slash terrifying? The kids, it's already baked in the cake? It's already baked in the cake, but the sheer fact that we have to do a study around that, who... <laughs> well, it was it was started by a lot of really ugly people, Aaron, and oh, uh, so maybe they were trying to uh, prove something. There are tons. <laughs> there are. It says tons of studies supporting that stereotypically attractive people, as opposed to monotypically attractive people, are uh, perceived as smarter, more, more successful, and uh, more outgoing. Hang on, just a second. How do I look today? By the way, do I need? Am I, am I looking okay? <laughs> Suddenly, I'm very uh, paranoid. You, you, need, dad, you need to shave the beard. Were that's dad bods saying. accounted for in the study? What role did dad? <laughs> Bud's <laughs> that's right. Maybe that's why if you're a dad watching this right now and it seems like your kids don't uh, watch you, maybe it's because you got a Sherman, you know, somewhere <laughs> down there south of the pectoral muscles. Okay? I don't know. Maybe the kids will look at that as a papoose or something like that. So that means <laughs> more comforting than anything else. But think of it. It, it is kind of mind boggling. You think, oh, the kids are going to rely on you or, uh, or be dis disposed to you favorably. No matter you're their source of, of everything, of, of food and, and comfort. No, they really want to. Uh, the hot mom from the uh, Stacy's mom video, you know. Uh, that's, <laughs> if I may do a you know late that's, '90s reference, that's wow. a throwback <laughs> ball. <laughs> that yeah, really that's is. All, that's all they're looking for from uh, from parents. Apparently, is hotness. Evidently, um, no no point of uh, mentioning the superficiality of this uh, this study, but you know, hey. It's original sin. If, you, if, if you've never understood the concept of original sin, have some kids. But, you know, <laughs> so if kids, uh, if the kids don't like you, it may be because you're unattractive. It may also be because you're pooping in their yard. <laughs> it could be one or the other. Actually, so they, they probably want to join in if that's it. So, honestly, if, if it all's weighing <laughs> out, they'll probably be more attracted to the, uh, the, the mad pooper. <laughs> Well, if you if you take that last bond. story, if you take it at face value, uh, pardon the pun, then they wouldn't care about the person, uh, you know, the uh, jogger as long as they looked good. <laughs> it's like, remember the whole story about the attractive, uh, who was the guy with the uh, the mug shot and he looked like a model? Ah, the, the felon with the, yeah, with the, the uh, face yeah, tattoos. The who, hot felon. Yeah. Who was kind of hot. <laughs> Let's go <laughs>
Did she just? She just I, admitted it. She did. I'm sorry, you husband of mine. I apologize. <laughs> all right, Ryan. Just have to get some face tattoos. For the sake of science, I just needed to confirm that he actually was. Wow. I'm just saying, maybe uh, consider ink. All right, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if our kids are going to think much of you, though. But uh, I like you. <laughs> Believe me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's yes. what we found this week on the edge ladies and gentlemen uh, we went off the edge there for a little yeah, bit there it. paul thanks for bringing us back so uh what's happening this week uh, uh along with the uh weather edge well uh in weatherland it looks good so we should all like it right we only like the stuff that uh looks good it, well it looks good if you don't mind the fact that fall is coming in with temperatures up around the 90 degree mark yeah, which would right. be kind of ironic because we've spent much of the summer uh not reaching 90 degrees i mean we've only done it i think about half a dozen six seven eight times so that's about a half to a third of what it would be normally but we're going to finish with a flourish ladies and gentlemen as we uh, come to you on wednesday the fourth forecast has turned warmer after a couple of days of seeing some rainfall, which I bet a lot of you probably were uh, pretty happy about because we've been running below average on that. 87 Wednesday and uh, up around 90, but Thursday, Friday, upper 80, Saturday and Sunday. So once again, we're going to have a pretty uh, long stretch without uh, seeing any big storms around here. Uh, the little symbol at the beginning of Wednesday was for the uh, morning fog, in case you're wondering what that artsy fartsy, and I uh, probably shouldn't use. <laughs> that Stop term it. after this uh, <laughs> what that little icon uh, meant there so fall arrives never <laughs> Friday, it, it Friday arrives at, never at 402 <laughs> p.m officially that's that's when things start falling unless wow. you're in colorado springs fall could arrive at any moment apparently Evidently so. Well, we have, an, we have another hurricane uh, brewing up yeah, uh, as well uh, coming in. Well, at the moment, I mean, the terrible things earlier today and the, through the day today around uh, uh, Puerto Rico. This yep. one is uh, pegged at the moment to stay well to the east of the mainland okay. of the uh, United States. So at the moment, it's not uh, as big of a concern as Irma was at this time. But uh, boy, you talk again, talk about making up for lost time, like with us and the temperatures. Uh, a hurricane you know, weekly. Yeah, after ooh, however long ago Katrina was, that was the last active year. And that was some time ago. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, you know, we make up for uh, everything at uh, once. Weather is fascinating because it's constantly in a, it seems like trying to balance things out, which as we, we know from being in the real world is impossible. I guess that's why it's so messy. It's, it's chaotic. That's for sure. Not unlike the Mad Pooper. <laughs> it's hard. Well, the difference between her and and again, uh, a hurricane is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess she's <laughs> she's much easier to predict, unfortunately. Especially with signs. <laughs> By the way, since you since you let us down this road, she's a category. She's a category two. Oh. We gotta go. All right. Man, forever. Look at the time. We have to have go you, forever you, now. Have, I was looking. Look at my uh, watch here that I'm not wearing <laughs> on my arm. But that's the international symbol for. Oh boy, look at the time. Even if you're not wearing a watch. We will absolutely officially apologize to Indianapolis after the show. So <laughs> I'm, I'm issuing an official statement, and I'm very sorry. Good move. Good. Pro, very proactive. I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, Paul, thanks so much. That was very entertaining. And uh, keep a lookout for those wacky stories and some. All right. Uh, I'll be there. See you soon. <laughs>